what's happening guys today I decided since I was off due to the weather it's raining it's ass off um I decided to go out and get some of the supplies I needed to make the X blade now to make it quicker I said let me just buy two regular kingdom keys again cross them and make the design up for the actual blade itself like the sword piece and the designs around the keyblade itself. So I started the process, I drew it out, and I went over with Sharpie so I have a, 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 a thicker line for me to see and cut out. But I'm going to show you the process from now on. I It's all hand drawn and I'm going to put it together and see what it looks like in the end. Okay, guys, so now as you guys can see, I got the two keyblades. They are together. I put the keychain like this. That's the two boxes in the background of the keyblades. Um, they're together. But see, on the actual picture, these are basically in each other, and this is all on the side. But how I'm going to make this easier is I'm going to wedge it in between here and glue it in place so it's in there. Um, that's the easiest way to make this. That design was very hard to try to mimic, but I got it to work. Um, I think it's pretty well for it being hand-drawn and ready to cut out. And once this piece gets cut out, I have another board the same size where I'm going to trace this. It's much faster, much easier. I'm going to trace it, cut it out again, layer them, and then glue them into place so it's thicker, it's sturdier. And then I'll be able to paint this and then put it in there. So let's get to cutting this. Okay, so now the piece is actually cut. Now I had a very hard time cutting this piece out. My hand is hurting so bad because of having to cut this precisely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually thicken the blade up by having it three layers instead of two. And then I'm going to have it go down to about there. That way... It could stay in between this. This can stay the way it is. I'll paint everything. It'll look all nice. And I cannot wait to show you guys. Alright guys. So after you cut it out and you put the layers on it. You want to spray paint it with some sort of like metallic silver. And I'm using the Krylon Color Master Metallic. Which is like a silver like that. And I'm going to do the bottom. i got to let it dry. And then uh, go from there. Alright guys. So now it's together. Now what I had to do to stick it in between there and make it sturdy. Was I used some types of glue. Which at first I was using this. The, Loct the Loctite super glue gel gel is always the best to use but what worked the most for me which is something i already had was the gorilla glue super glue gel that's the best thing to use but since these things are actually crisscrossed right here i had to clamp one down with just a small clamp that i used with a mic but um yeah i clamped it down now it's together, but what I have to do now is I actually have to dab the different colors on here. So I think it's like a bluish kind of color. So I'm going to have to dab it on there and then yellowish gold up the neck. And then I'll matte finish this and it'll be completely done for you guys. Now what has to happen now is now I have to get the colors from here up the neck. So it's like a lightish greenish blue like so i only have a light blue i have some green i'm gonna see if i can dab the green on it once i'm done with the blue and i'm going to put like a orangey yellowy gold up the neck like in the game this is going to be the full exploit not the broken one and shana gave me this really cool like sponge that she used to use for makeup she has a bunch of them so i'm gonna be able to just dab it on there and here you guys go. It's finally finished. Um, I had to mix green and blue here. 
I put some orange on there and then I refinished it again with silver to kind of like faint out the colors on them. I really do like the outcome of it, especially with it being completely hand done. And what I did to coat this at the end was I used a Krylon matte finish. This is like really good. You can see my hands are just like destroyed with all the paint. And that's not even the worst of it. My thumb on this hand and oh yeah, I'm just destroyed. But uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys exactly how big this actually is um so yeah all right guys so it's definitely a pretty big keyblade see how big this is um i can't even point it completely upwards in this room because of the fact that i will smash the ceiling but yeah that is it right there and I'm so actually, I'm, I'm like really happy that I made this Keyblade because I wanted an X-Blade forever. And that is it, guys. I took the whole day in making this X-Blade. Um, I was going to do some other things, other videos, but I really want to work on something different. It's been a while since I actually sat down and actually uh, built something from scratch. Or almost from scratch, but... uh. But yeah, I had fun doing it. I'm glad that I have that piece with me now. Like, it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, if you guys like the video, uh, be sure to go down and hit that like button. It really does help our channel out a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe because that also helps the channel. But also with subscribing... Um, we are actually doing a giveaway at the moment, and that giveaway is $60 for PlayStation Network. We'll be giving that away on the 25th of January to a lucky subscriber. So it's going to be randomly drawn. Just one random subscriber is going to win it, but that's not going to be the only giveaway that we are doing. We'll be doing other giveaways in the future. And yeah, also, if you guys play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, I'm a part of a group called the Wayfinders, and the Wayfinders is a hardcore group and we are actually recruiting at the moment so all you need to be is a rank a or rank b player so if you are rank a or rank b we would love to have you and here is more information for that all right guys so if you play kingdom hearts union cross and are rank a or b players we are going to give you a huge opportunity I'm a part of a group in Union Cross called the Wayfinders. We are a hardcore Union Cross group that dedicates the time needed to move up in the leaderboards. But don't worry, we know that a lot of people have lives and do work, so we don't need you on every moment of the day. But as long as you can do raids, activate your daily Lux boost, and communicate with us through our beautifully designed Discord, and I mean that, it's very beautiful when I go on Discord. Um, then you have what it takes to be one of our qualifying Keyblade wielders. If you have what it takes, then shoot a message down in the comments and we can get you started. You can also follow our Instagram by searching kh.wayfinders and you can follow me directly on Twitter by searching VoidGearVanitas. You can hit us up on either of those as well to get into our Unicross group. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already to help our channel grow its very own Kingdom Hearts Union. And hit the bell icon so you see when we upload new content. This is Void Gear Vanitas. I'm out, and let your hearts be your guiding keys.